Hi, I'm Danny and these are my diecast disasters. In this video, I'm going to be restoring this little Johnny Lightning Plymouth Barracuda AAR. This is the first Johnny Lightning I've done. This will be interesting. They released this car, I think, in 1998. And it's a 1970 Plymouth Cuda. So taking a closer look at it, you can see it is plated, I guess. And it was candy blue. It's a nice solid metal model. Some sort of realistic wheels on it with tires and stuff. It's nice. The bonnet opens and there's a motor in there, but it presses up against the windscreen so it just pops back down straight away anyway I don't know what's happened to all the candy paint on it it's completely gone there's two posts holding it together we'll drill them out and then we'll be able to take it apart so I'll pop the bottom off nice solid base solid chunk of metal the rear wheels are loose and the front ones are pinched in there here's the interior have to drill out a short post there to take out the windscreen that out pretty flimsy and then there's another couple of posts holding the engine in which clamps the bonnet in so I drilled those out and there's all our metal parts So next I'll use some paint stripper to strip what's left of the paint off of the castings. Nearly all the paint's gone and there's not much scratches or anything on it so I really don't know what's gone on there. So here it is after paint stripping. Next I'll drill and tap the posts so I can use some little screws to put it back together again when I'm finished. So there's a few little scratches and stuff in it, but nothing too bad. I'm going to give the body all a jolly good polish. There it goes, looking nice and shiny. As I said, there were a few little scratches in the body, but I don't want to go sanding it. And you can see the difference there with the engine block that I didn't sand. Right, now they're ready for some nice candy paint. I'm going to go with the candy blue again like it was originally. This is Vallejo Racing Candy Blue. And I gave it four coats. I 
Things are detailed in the lights and the grill and the door handles. And then on Photoshop, I've made some CUDA stripe decals and printed them out. So I'll cut a couple of these out and then apply them to the sides of the car. And on some standard A4 paper, I've printed out some little JL CUDA license plates. I'll just cut a couple of those out and I used a little bit of PVA glue to glue them on. Then I hit all of that with a couple of coats of nice gloss clear. Once that was well dried, I masked off the spoiler at the back and the top of the bonnet. And I hit these with a matte black. So there's the body done and I hit the bonnet with some matte black, the same as I used on the car. And then I reassembled it all, I just used some super glue to hold the engine in place. I never got the bonnet to close completely smooth again, but I don't know why, maybe the paint. So now onto the chassis, and I'm going to take these wheels off first. So the tyres and the hubs pop off of the axles. And I'm not going to take out that front axle there, I'm just going to leave it in. So I'll break these down, take the hubs out of the tires and stuff. And here's all our parts. They're a bit grubby, so I'll give them a good wash in some hot water. So just using a little bit of tack to hold them in place, I gave all the hubs a fresh coat of chrome. Use some rubber and plastic reviver to revive the tires a little bit. Just gave them a good rub down and let it soak in for a while. The good year has rubbed off of one of the tires and partially off another one but other than that they're in pretty good nick so I'm you know, just gonna reassemble them Right, here's the interior. It's a little bit grubby. Not too bad, but I give it a good wash and some soapy water. I 
And finally, here's the windscreen. It's pretty flimsy, so I have to be careful. It did start to crack when I took it out in the center there where the hole is. So some plastic polish, a bit much there, but she'll be right. Then I give it a jolly good polish, and that's all. Did end up breaking a bit more in the middle. Used just a little dab of super glue to hold the windscreen in place there. And I can pop the interior in. And the rear wheels, and then the chassis goes on. And a couple of little button head screws will hold that all together. And so that's all the work done, restoring our little Johnny Lightning 1970 Cuda. Let's just take a quick look back at what we started with. A cool looking American muscle car, but oddly missing all of its paint. Who knows what happened to it. Got some tale to tell. Anyway, we'll give it a tidy up and a repaint and see how it comes out. And here it is, our finished, restored Johnny Lightning Plymouth Barracuda AAR. It's been given a nice, fresh, candy blue paint job and decals detailed. The wheels freshened up, interior cleaned, and the windscreen given a bit of a polish there. I think it's looking a lot tidier. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Shout out to my Patreons before I go. Thanks heaps for supporting the channel. Check the links in the description below. Maybe subscribe to my other channel. Thanks heaps for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like and subscribe to see more similar content. And I'll catch you in the next one.